Yo, what's up, guys? Catfish 100 here. Uh, this is a quick video. Well, that's a quick video of showing you my freshwater fishing poles, my saltwater fishing poles, um, and my freshwater lures, tackle, and stuff like that, and my saltwater t lure tackles, and my kayak at the end. So, here we go. I have this fishing pole right here. So these are this one, this one, this one, this one, this one right this one right here, and this one, this is my dad's, are all fresh water. And this one right here, the big boy, salt water fishing bowl. So these are fresh, those over there, this is salt water. And uh, this is my fresh water lures, well, hooks. This is salt water, this is fresh water, this is salt water. And I keep them all in this tackle box right there so uh all these these three compartments these four compartments so first of all this one this i got yesterday i mean not yesterday two days ago on friday uh for fifty dollars at sports authority it's a uh, bass fishing pole it's pretty good i like this feature right here it's pretty i don't know i, I just like it the wheel is pretty cool and yeah this one I got from uh, Europe. My dad got it for me. He was there uh, a couple months ago. Uh, it actually folds down to make it into a mini fishing pole. Like from about here to here. So, I'm not going to do that now because I have it all set up and everything for uh, later today. Alright, uh, this one is a guy for forty dollars in uh Stanford a bait shop next to the Cove Beach in Stanford. Um it's pretty good. It had four pound line with uh let me just get the reel for you guys. My kayak right there. This is the reel, four pound line right there, red line. I changed the um, what is called the reel and put this one on from that one. And I put 30 pound, no, 50 pound uh, test fly fishing line, uh, which is right here. Power Pro fly fishing line from, again, Walmart Sports Store. You can buy this for $12, $13. With 150 yards, don't get it 300 yards because it's like $20 for that. I'm going to get it for this one. This is going to hold 350 yards. I only have 150 yards on this. So, if I'm talking too fast, I'm sorry, guys. So. That's how I talk, but this one, this one actually broke yesterday. I was at my friend's house in Stanford, North Stanford. It broke right here, right there. So I had to cut it, cut it off. It was, it was normally up to here, but you know, like that one. This is the same fishing pole. As you can see, the one on the right is more bigger than the one on the left. That's where it broke. It didn't break that much, so I was kind of. Okay. Oh, it just got stuck, but Let's see if I can get oh, I got it unstuck. I got the I changed the reel from that one to this one. To, to, uh twenty dollar reel. Uh the reel is over here. Right here. It got kinda messed up because I put sand in it. I put it in the dirt in the sand at the beach and it got kinda messed up. Yeah, those are my tanks. I'm gonna make a bass tank and a fish tank or something like that. Nice bass tank. From a, you can catch a small bass like four inches, six inches. You can catch a big bass like small bass. But I'm gonna grow them and then I'm gonna sell them probably. And that's gonna be my minnow tank with like bait tank and stuff like that. Hope it hopefully it doesn't smell like last year. Smell last year like shit. Uh, so yeah. Alright, next fishing pole. This one I'm actually bringing today to... Uh, I'm going to Lake Mohegan, Fairfield, Connecticut. I bought this from... Where I buy this? Uh, BJ's or Costco? No. Yeah, I think you're familiar with BJ's. That's what I got from... That was a nice catch. So I got from $30. It's a nice 50-pound uh, test, again. Set this up for uh, fishing uh, for trout today. At Lake Mohegan in about an hour. And this is my dad. He's going to. We get some worms which are in the bucket in the middle. 
There's a green one, the white one, and the one with the blue top. Just the one in the middle. I have dirt from a recycling center. Right there. And it's supposed to be uh, pretty good dirt, so. We're kind of low on time here, so. Uh, here we go. Okay, that's my freshwater fishing poles, all those. I have in total one, two, three, four, five, six. My dad's included. I have five. My dad's one. Pretty sad. So here are my freshwater hooks. These are like four dollars. Eighty-five hooks in this box from Walmart. Pretty good. Sugar hooks. Circle hooks too. That's my line again. These are also my freshwater lures. This is I don't know what this is called, but. Uh, oh, come on, this always happens. Oh my. Are you freaking serious? Alright. This I had on my friend. This my friend uh, gave me to use for the day yesterday, but I kind of forgot to give it back to him, so I'm gonna do that. But this called me a bass yesterday on his uh, pond. Nice bass. And then this is what happened. This is the story. It jumped up in the air. I was using this. This, I just got uh, Friday for $2 from Walmart. Yeah, well, okay, this, this and this caught me a bass. This caught me a bass. Small bass, like, like, that big. Four inches. <sighs> My friend has it, it's in his bucket. So you can give it to me so I can put it in that big tank, probably, hopefully. So I can uh, raise it. And this. Before he came downstairs to the pond, I had I was using this, that lure on this fishing pole, this fishing pole right here. This is what happened. It it hooked the bass really good in the lip. It jumped up in the air. Uh, eight foot bass, probably four pounds or something. And the lip came off. Like I it. His lip like broke off, and he got away, and I, the lips got stuck on the hook, which is in there. <sighs> yeah, it was it was painful. My friend was like, "What the fuck are you serious? There's bass in here. You never knew there's bass in there." So, yeah, these are my bobbers I'm using today. Hey, balls. Hang on. I know it's coming out. So, uh, I got two minutes, so, I have three bass lures here. These two are the same, that's different. I got some uh, scissors right there. These are, I don't know what these are, but, came with the fishing pole. That's sad. Uh, probably going to uh, my, anus, my anus pond. Yes, my anus pond on, in two weeks in June. Hopefully trying to catch catch a bass there. Not we'll try somewhere else. And uh, here, let me get this unstuck here. Okay. Alright. These two. The blue one and the other one. These are good but I never used them. This is good, my friend gave it to me. He said he caught two bass on it. Uh ten pound bass, two ten pound bass, foot and a half. So they're pretty good. These are my uh, spinner baits. Spinner bait. This is top water bait. That's spinner. Again, spinner. And there's some hooks, some weights. Uh, bass, top water bait. And things to clip. Tie this on the line and you clip it easy. Then. Instead of taking some kind of line and changing the lure and putting the line on. So yeah, that's my fresh water uh, stuff, and uh, get you guys for my salt water, uh, stay tuned for my salt water stuff, and I'll catch you guys later, peace.